Hey, I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and check it now. Oh, I'm not checking it. Aren't you decent with cars? Right. Of course. Okay, yeah, I'm good with cars. I'll, I'll go check it. Cool. I'll sit here. The Lavender Lemonade Collective presents Transmission Folklore. I'm, I'm sorry this happened like this, but I need you to know I'm, I'm not like totally weird. Like I really saw you being drowned by that siren. I believe you. I just don't understand why you took me out of Houston. You don't really know me. I, I panicked. I didn't want you to die. I could be a bad person or a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make a bad serial killer. He almost died. Did you pack any food on your great escape? I, uh, I didn't. I, I have enough money to get us to the Arby's. Are you vegan? Is going to Arby's gonna be a problem if I am? Uh, yeah. It's a meat place. A place for meats. To eat them and stuff. I'm not a vegan. I'm kind of insulted you think I am. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, no, 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 no. no. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you or to insinuate. I, I just meant... I wanted to be thoughtful in case you might be a vegan. I'm not a vegan, but I'm allergic to stuff. And, like, I can't eat tomatoes, which is really sad because... Tomatoes are delicious. I used to eat them like apples. But then I kept going to the hospital and we didn't know why. And I'm allergic to tomatoes. Who knew? So I didn't know if you were vegan or if you had allergies... Do you have allergies? Bullshit. <laughs> oh. Well, we won't drive through a cow field. <laughs> no, I guess we won't. What's wrong with the car? Can we get the light up to turn off, or...? The car has... Well, I can't tell. We might drive to an auto zone or something. I think the main issue is relatively small. I mean, the engine looks good and the oil is full. Whatever it is, it's no big deal. Maybe a gas cap. That needs to be replaced my freshman year. Fumes escape and then you get low gas mileage and it's a big mess. Right. So... Can I ask you something? You can ask, but I don't know if I'm gonna answer it. That's fair. No offense, but just because you told me your name doesn't mean I know you or have to like you. And you don't have to like me. We can go our separate ways at the auto zone. Right. It's just like, uh, I don't want that. If you want that, that's okay, but you look scared. What were you doing by the bayou the other day? I just... I walked over. I saw that person. I guess siren? I saw them swimming. And we're not supposed to swim, I mean, the notice, right? Right, totally. I just... It looked like it was gonna be bad. That person in the water. So I said, hey, get out. And they said, do I have to? And I was like, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure this got shut down for that, uh, flesh-eating bacteria or something. And then I don't really remember what happened after that. I just felt like I needed to go talk to them. 
like I was interested in the conversation. And it was really, it was nice. I remember coming up from the water and being mad about it. Like I was angry you pulled me up. I don't really remember you, but the idea. And then I guess I blacked out in the car. I mean, I woke up and we were far away from campus. And I was in your passenger seat and I only sort of know you. Like I know your face and I know you eat breakfast at the same time as me and we live in the same dorm. I didn't know your name until you told me. Well, you haven't told me your name. <laughs> you may call me Sorrel Huxon. Nice to meet you, Sorrel. It's not really. I'm exhausted and you're afraid of me. This whole adventure is a lot. Can we go home? No. Why not? Look, I just, I've spent a lot of time reading folklore and, um, so I know that if this siren follows folklore, which there is truth in a whole bunch of it, I'm positive that we're in danger. Why's that? Just the way sirens work. I mean, the magic associated with sirens is almost entirely destructive. And I don't want to be destroyed. By drowning? They tried to kill you with their hands. As opposed to with their feet? They don't have feet. I bet if they did, they would have used those too. Sorrel, there's a lot of spookiness and I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm getting in the car and I'm driving us to Arby's and I'm not leaving you here at the edge of Texas just so you can die. Because we're not going to die today. We're going to live and get curly fries, and I'm going to try to answer your questions to the best of half of my degree of knowledge. So stop it. Yeah, sure. Sounds good, cartwheel. See? We're friends. Friends who kidnap each other. Welcome to Arby's. How can I take your order? Can I get a number one with curly fries? What do you want? I'll eat whatever. I'll take two number ones with curly fries and two chocolate shakes. I'd prefer a Coke. A Coke over a chocolate shake? Yeah, I don't want to be thirsty after I drink. Oh my god. Also, since you kidnapped me, you're paying for all our meals. This is not a kidnapping. Don't say that to the Arby's drive through Two chocolate shakes and a Coke. Don't give me that look. I already adjusted the order once, and I don't want the Arby's lady to hate me. Oh my god, you're never going to see this Arby's person again. You don't even live in this town. I love Beaumont. I might come back. You're running away. You won't come back. <laughs> How do you know? Because you're stuck with me now. We're not going back. Right. I'm serious. Look, you're right. I don't want to die or get killed or crushed by the siren. So we work together to stop that. We get a little wild, rent a hotel, don't get noticed, and hope for the best. Okay, that works. We're on the same team. The not getting murdered team. Oh boy. That's kind of spooky. Yeah, well, it's what's happening. The line's moving. Pull forward. Um, are we okay? Like, this is gonna be really awkward if you hate me the entire time. I don't hate you. I don't like being pulled away from classes or my life, but I probably would have done the same thing. Not as wild, but same idea. Okay, cool. I don't trust you, if that's what you're asking. Like I said, we don't know each other. We can learn about each other. Yeah, sure. We can. But it's not the same as learning about each other before you kidnapped me. Again? Ugh. Ugh got a hair in my food. A again, not a kidnapping. I was trying to stop you from being drowned. 
I appreciate it. And it's not the same as a murder kidnap situation, but it is still technically a kidnapping. <sighs> I swear, next time I pull over, I'm going to Google what a kidnapping is and how this doesn't count as a kidnapping. You can do that. You still kidnap me. So, why do you pick Sorrel? Should you really be asking? No, wait. Wait, I... Me too. I I trans. I mean, I'm trans too. I too. I passed by your door a couple of times and you have they, them scrawled underneath your tag. I remember because I thought Sorrel was a cool name and was excited that there was another trans person in the building. I mean, I'm sure that there are more, but... But you don't know any who live in Moody Towers. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. I think it sounded cool. My dead name has some bad connotations since I stopped talking to my dad. And I like the taste. So, Sorrel. And it's gender neutral enough that you can't automatically pick what pronouns go with it. And they them, right? You have have you changed your pronouns? No, they them still. Why'd you pick Carter? Because it's cute and I like the way it sounds. And also I'm really into Peggy Carter and also it's cute. Cool. I I guess I should uh channel Agent Carter to really help me get out of this situation. Yeah, probably. I'll channel a veggie. Are you sure you're not vegan? I'd probably be a cannibal if I was. So no. (laughs) Okay. me to drive I'm positive I'm just (sighs) it's getting dark the sky is like there's that pink strap in the middle of and the clouds in the middle of that I love our beautiful trans sky you should drive to a rest stop we need to crash for the night In the car? Look, we haven't seen a hotel in like 40 miles. There's a rest stop next exit. A hotel would be better, but we're not going to make it to a hotel. You need the rest. What are we going to do? Take the rest stop. I can drive in the morning. If we rest, I don't need you to drive. Cool, because I'm a terrible driver. Why'd you offer? Because I'm not a dick. I'm not going to be an asshole to you. But you might crash my car. I won't. (laughs) I never crashed my ex's car. (laughs) Okay. Well, we need to rest. Maybe take a shower. God, I'd love a shower. I'm still covered in bayou muck. (laughs) Oh, I thought that was my smell. No, I can't smell you. Okay. Good. Where am I supposed to exit? Here. Fuck. We made it. Oh my god. You didn't die. Come on. Let's keep going. Just like half a mile. You're gonna sleep too, right? (laughs) Probably not. Why not? I don't sleep real well. It's just like a thing. Insomnia, I guess. Promise me you'll try? I'm not making a promise I can't keep. Come on, turn here. We'll get out and go. This episode of Transmission Folklore was written by Mick Coates. Carter is voiced by Orion Ibert. Sorrel is voiced by Mick Coates. This episode was edited by Orion Ibert. Special thanks to our supporters on Patreon and Coffee. You can support us by following us at patreon.com slash lavenderlem. Or follow us on Twitter or Facebook at lavenderlem. 
Make sure you check out our new website at transmissionfolklore.com. This episode's cryptid is the Speedy Jackalope. Outrun whatever's chasing you.